Perhaps the most notable feature of Astro is their concept of interactive islands, where essentially most of the page is rendered as just static HTML. And then there are sections or islands of the page that will load JavaScript for interactivity. This is similar to hydration approaches we can see in other frameworks, where JavaScript for some parts of the application can be loaded sometime after the initial page load. But what is particularly interesting about Astro is that you can essentially bring your own UI framework. That means you can use Alpine.js, Preact, React, Solid, Svelte, or Vue components directly within Astro. You can even use multiple different UI frameworks at the same time if you want. Angular is notably missing from this list of integrations, but thankfully Analog has our back with its own Astro integration, which allows us to use standalone Angular components in Astro. But why would we want to do that? If we want to use Angular components, why not just build an Angular application directly? With recent improvements, Angular now even has its own support for incremental hydration that allows you to control more specifically when the JavaScript for content is loaded. Astro is a large framework with a bunch of features, so this is by no means the only reason why someone might want to do this, but at least for me, a compelling reason is for documentation and content websites. Astro has great out-of-the-box support for content sites including being able to create MDX files that allow rendering interactive components in Markdown files. And they also provide the popular Starlight template, which gives you an incredible documentation style website out of the box. All we have to do is create a new project with this command. And after a fancy little sequence of prompts, our website is ready to go. So now I've got this index page, which is an MDX file and uses some Astro components to render these cards. But let's say I want to render an Angular component on this page. To do that, I can come over to the Astro integration docs on the Analog.js website and add the Analog.js Astro Angular package using this command. We will also need to add this tsconfig.app.json file. And since we are using Starlight in this case, we will also need to add the following to the Analog.js Angular configuration in the Astro config file. We can place all of our Angular components in this folder, which will make sure it is only these files that get transformed. Try running your site with npm run dev at this point. If you're running into any weird errors, just try deleting the .astro and node modules folders, reinstall the dependencies and try again. So I can now create my Angular component just like I typically would with a normal standalone Angular component. And then I can import it into the MDX file like this. I can now see this component on the page, but you can see that if I click the button, it isn't actually possible for me to become cool right now. This component is just rendered as static HTML and the JavaScript for it has not been loaded. To hydrate the component, we will need to add one of Astro's client directives to it. This one will load the JavaScript for the component when the component becomes visible, just like using viewport with Angular's defer block. And now I can click the button to become cool. So that's the basic idea. I can now use Angular components in Astro or MDX files. If you want to see a fantastic use case for this, check out Chowtrans documentation for Angular 3, a 3.js integration for Angular, where he has the actual Angular components for examples embedded right there in the documentation along with the code snippet to create it. These docs are all open source too, so you can go spy on his code for tips on making your own epic Astro Angular sites. And remember that you can become even more cool by clicking the buttons to like and subscribe on this video before you go. And I hope to see you back here for the next one.